Hey guys, so uh, basically I bought a uh, Galaxy J2 Prime and I wanted to do an unboxing and first look at the device here. Uh, this is a new entry level phone from Samsung and it is basically for those who don't want to spend too much money uh, on a decent phone here. So we're going to have a look at it and see what it brings to the table. Uh, so and uh, let's see if we can get it open here and we're going to do one slice here there we go and we're going to do no we're not going to do one there just going to open it up now very interesting box I've got to say I mean seriously I've not seen such a crazy looking box hopefully it's not pink though uh, so yeah you know where uh, this is the uh, device here uh, this is the j2 prime in silver uh, very nice uh, attractive looking color if you ask me just get it unpeeled where is the unpeeler there you go very nice uh, so it shares some of the uh, like commonalities of older Samsung phones with the plastic back here. Uh, so you know you gotta have a, a, a like for the plastic kind of build here. Is there a screen protector? Uh, doesn't seem to be. You can see there seems to be already some kind of marks on the screen. So I think Samsung doesn't really care too much when it comes to their lower end phone uh, presentation, but nevertheless, let's have a look what you get in the box. So you'll need one of them. Let's hope it doesn't explode. And uh, I'm going to still troll Samsung, you see, in 2017. So you do get a charger, but that's no good to me. Uh, so we're just going to have a look at the device here, power it up. Certainly looks uh, very decent. So this is the way you get it open you can see we get micro SD expandability and uh, I think uh, micro sim and a sim 2 as well so it's dual sim very nice battery goes in Power goes on. Nice. So we do have some new uh, A series phones as well, which I hope to get in soon when they're officially available uh, from Samsung 2017 is in full swing here new phones very excited uh, what does the J2 bring to the table what does it bring to the table I don't know let's have a look so we're getting 1.4 gigahertz processor, quad core, QHD PLS display, that doesn't sound too good. Uh, not QHD is in quad, Q is in quarter HD. Eight gigabytes internal storage. You do get LTE though, which is nice. And uh, a all day battery, apparently. From what I can see here. Hmm. 
1500 mAh battery so that uh, should hopefully last the day and we do have some mandarin here because this isn't officially available where I am no phones officially available here anymore I don't know why maybe Brexit so you can see this uh, is the starting up I'm just going to put my password in I'm already struggling with the uh, display here a little bit the viewing angle is a little bit you know a bit TFT I don't know why Samsung still uses this technology because they could throw on a AMOLED panel onto the J5 even the J3 I think has AMOLED but looking head on it's not actually too bad here So it looks like we're running uh, Android Lollipop, maybe. It does look like. You see, we get a lot of this customization. This could be Marshmallow, actually. I think it's Marshmallow. Yes, it is. Wow. So you can see, this looks very nice. Let's put that brightness up uh, to the max. So this is the max brightness with the outdoor mode. You don't get any auto brightness with this, bro. Uh, so yeah, you know, uh, look at this. This is some premium high-end stuff. Uh, so let's have a look at the software. Six point zero point one and uh, October patch level, very nice. Uh, so twenty two percent battery, not that much. Uh, let's have a look at the settings you do get. Timeout setting. Do you get any multitasking? Let's have a look. So let's just open up some apps first. Things open up very nice here, as you can see. There aren't really that uh, many slowdowns or anything. Camera UI looks exactly like the S7, which is nice. Uh, you get, uh, it looks like eight megapixel camera, 720p video, wow, cutting edge. Uh, let's just take a shot here of this boring ZTE phone Wow so very sharp you can see look at that pleasantly surprised uh, so very uh, decent looking camera here with this one and you do get a flash as well so you can uh, use that nice uh, so yeah you know uh, I'll definitely do some videos with this one seeing how it is so look at the wallpapers uh, they look uh, pretty fresh here the wallpapers I gotta say not seen these before And uh, I said I was going to check out the if there's any multitasking. I doubt it. I don't think there is like the split screen multitasking. That's what I mean. Obviously, you get this multitasking, which uh, most phones do have. Uh, do you get power saving? Yes, you do. But I don't think it's ultra power saving. So obviously, with a phone like this, you're going to have some compromises. 
uh, you, it looks like you don't have the dedicated music app as well see if you get any equalizer do you get an equalizer which is nice can do some stuff with that uh, so yeah, uh, I'll check out the uh, performance with some comparable devices and the uh, camera, uh, so do stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this video uh, today, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.